Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, 2020. I am Sandy. Welcome back to my weekly five-minute faith life vlog. Today brings us episode 23. So yesterday was New Year's Day. And yesterday also was the first anniversary that my dad is gone. Uh, I got a call on New Year's Day last year in the evening. I don't even remember what time anymore. And what a tragic phone call to get. Um, but I try not to dwell on the phone call. I don't want New Year's Day or even the idea of New Year to be stained with someone so close to me that I loved so much. I don't want it to be stained with that they died. I want it to be exciting and wondrous and opportunity and possibility. And it was all those things for me yesterday. Uh, Derek had put a turkey in the oven on New Year's Eve and we did this 15 hour slow, low roast. Um, so that on New Year's Day, by about 9.30 or 10, the turkey was ready. It was roasted perfectly. We made potatoes and dressing and gravy, and we, we did it together. And We spent our morning in the kitchen New Year's Day together preparing this huge turkey dinner for breakfast, and we drank mimosas. And it was so beautiful, bright, sunny here in the Chicagoland area. Dad was with me but not like the sad business, just the glad business. <laughs> dad and glad was with me, not, not dad and sad. But today, I feel a little dad and sad. Um, and thankfully I work. Work is like church. I know I'm worshiping God by just bringing my A game and really trying to listen to others and help others best I can, even if it's just simple bank business doesn't make a difference. I'm serving others, worshiping God, and that's going to really lift what I'm feeling right now, that I know for sure. In the new year, I definitely want to continue my Christian journey and try to be more like Christ and learn what I can. And to that end, um, I've been looking at non-denominational Christian churches for my mom near where she lives. She's open to the idea, which is exciting. And I just, I think she's looking for a sense of community and I would love that for her. I know she believes in God. I think she's not sure what to do with, with belief from there. So I think church would be uh, great for a sense of community, obviously great for education and faith, and maybe great for a sense of purpose. When you lose your partner in life and suddenly everything you guys had together, whether it was good or bad, it just isn't there anymore. And so I think um, if she could learn some other purpose and, and do some volunteer and giving back, that would be really healthy for her too. Healthy for everyone, quite frankly. Sorry, this, this vlog is a little bit of a somber note but this is life. Life can be very sobering. I went to Vineyard this past Sunday and I stayed after to visit with ministry and just get some extra prayers going into the new year. Extra prayers to just stay diligent with trying to be more like Christ. You know, Christ, empty me of me, fill me with you. Less judgmental, less um, easily swayed by the political discourse and divide um, and just really love everyone even if they're a little bit different from me they don't think how I think love everyone they're our brothers and sisters be Christ to them and you just never know what might happen suddenly someone that seems so different from you you might come to find out you can learn a lot from each other and be really good for each other I hope you guys have a, a great Thursday. I hope your New Year's festivities were 
fun and festive and with people you love and care about and best wishes for 2020 wherever you are whoever you are god bless bye